Hi again, fellas. I listened to your message again, Mike, and you made me laugh. <laughs> Haven't commit, committed murder today. Check. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. And the sheep was funny too. Poor sheep. Uh, and that, that, that used to be me. Back in the ditch. Um, you asked the question, have you ever wanted to go back? not to the sins of the flesh. Um, there were at times a temptation um, and I knew, you know that temptation in your flesh, but I didn't want to ever go back. And a couple of times there was a real battle, um, a battle between the spirit and the flesh. Um, and I'm thankful that God is stronger, that he is strong. I wanted to contribute something slightly different because um, you really captured my attention and I, I wrote some notes down in my um, uh, Bible program. That phrase in verse 9, and Paul says, now that you know God, and you know, signifying that tremendous change where our love towards God becomes magnetic because of his love for us. Nothing, nothing of us. We've been attracted. He's reached out to us and got our attention. And he's drawing us to him in love. You know, I think of those Galatians who've gone from abject ignorance, totally unaware of what life was really about, to now knowing God, knowing meaning, finding a foundation for their life going from being all at sea to standing on the rock, Jesus. And then he says, or should I say, now that God knows you. Meditate on that, fellas. This is mind-blowing. God knows you. Now just think of the old gods that were not gods at all. Um, I sort of trying to think, you know, like a singer, an idol that we had when we were young. You know, I, picked, I picked one out, like Ed Sheeran. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a lot older than that. I was into Bob Dylan back in the old days. But in, in a, imagine you're an Ed Sheeran fan, you know, dead set, keen on him, member of his fan club and all that, signed posters, um, signed CDs and all that. I've got a few of those around, actually, from not from Ed Sheeran, but from other performance because a couple of my kids used to work in the music industry. Does Ed Sheeran know you? Does Ed Sheeran care about you? No, no he doesn't. If you come closer to home, it might be a pastor. Um, you might be a part of a church that's growing and you know the past pastor knows in the little church knows most of the people by name and knows their life story pretty much. But in a large church You'd be lucky if the pastor knows your name and occupation. Good ones in a church up to maybe 500 would pretty well know everybody's name and a bit of a backstory. But they don't really know you. Paul's saying here, God knows you. Oh, he knows you intimately, brothers. Like a tender Abba Father. Verse 6, and Paul referred to him as your Abba Father. And he knows all your failings. But he's your ever father. And he loves you all the same. And he is in the process through his son Jesus. The propitiation of our sins. First John 4. He is dealing with them. With stupendous grace and mercy brothers. Yeah he knows you. Rejoice and revel in the love of your Abba Father. And with God the Son, your wonderful big brother Jesus, knows you. And knowing you, he still went there that day. And with nail-scarred hands and flayed back, he has redeemed you. He, the shepherd who pursued you after you strayed, 
would lay his life down for you. All those beautiful metaphors he lifted you on his back and carried you back. He knows you. And knowing all your failings, he still went to that place of condemnation for you. Oh, brothers, rejoice with me. Father and Son, know you and love you. And they're in the business of transforming you into their likeness right now. Oh, rejoice and fall into their arms, brothers. God bless you all.